taking a look at the oil. So my good friends at uh, Aviation Oil Outlet keep me topped off here. Um, it's a pretty standard on a Lycoming uh, 540 engine. To have your normal dipstick and check the oil. So a pretty Mondo uh, three-bladed prop, uh, constant speed prop, so you can imagine this uh, airplane gets a really good bite with 300 uh, horsepower underneath it. Uh, typically when I fly in, in uh, you know, just doing basic aerobatics, I'll fly 25 square um, just to keep some of the pressure off the airplane. If I'm doing any, uh, you know, full unlimited aerobatics, I will go ahead and push everything forward and get uh, all the juice I can out of the airplane. But, you know, just like any other airplane, you just want to check the overall condition of the prop and uh, just check that your air inlets are clean and that you don't have any issues as far as uh, um, any birds uh, deciding to make a home in your engine bay overnight. On the other side, there is a, uh, a fuel filler for the right wing, and uh, you can also check that. And then there is, on top of the airplane, a center aerobatic tank. So, as I mentioned, uh, you do have some aerobatic limitations with fuel in the wings, so uh, I keep those dry uh, other than cross countries, and uh, primarily, obviously, fly off of the uh, acro tank which uh, has an inverted capability to keep the engine running. And that fuel filler is up on top. And then if you check out right here is where we check the integrity of the fuel in that tank. It does have a uh, stall warning indicator that's electronic. Um, I think it's pretty standard for most pilots uh, that are flying aerobatics uh, to, to pull the circuit breaker there uh, because you know that you're going to be sawing the wing quite often. You get that kind of annoying uh, buzz in your ear. Uh, 